my name is Steven Gosek. Today here we are going to do an experiment about food taste. First of all, food is anything that can be eaten to obtain nutrients and energy in the body. Food test is an experiment done to know the presence of food, of nutrients in a food. In front of us we have got chemicals and reagents which are going to be used for experiment. Here I've got copper sulfate, I've got sodium hydroxide, lead, hydrochloric acid, iodine solution, and Benedict solution, sample A, sample B, sample C, sample D. Okay, I'm going to welcome the first representer to represent. Form 2 in Kisimiru Secondary School. In food tests, we are going to test if our food sample contains starch. First, we are going to take our test tube of sample B and put it in a test tube holder. And a test tube of sample C and put it in a test tube. After that, we are going to take our sample C and sample B. We are going to take three two cent two cent two centimeter cubic. And after that, we are going to, to use iodine solution and put it in our food sample, few drops. After that, we are going to observe the color changes. If the color changes into dark blue, it means our food test contains starch and we are going to shake it and observe. As you can see, our food sample B contains the dark blue color and our food sample C does not contain this means our food sample B it's it have the present of starch. My name is Glory Naiman. I am from two students in Kismiri Secondary School. Today we are going to do the test of carbohydrates. As we know that under carbohydrates we have got reducing sugar and now reducing sugar. And I'm going to test about reducing sugar. Following our procedures which are going to be taken when going to look if our food sample contains reducing sugar as follows. We take our test tube, after that we take our food sample A, we put in our test tube, we take again food sample C, we put in our test tube, after that we take Benedict solution, the same amount we have taken to our food sample, we put in our test tube. We take again for the sample B. We put in our test tube. After that, we put it in the boiling water so as to observe the color changes. The color will start to change from blue to green, green to yellow, then yellow to orange. As you can see here, our color starts from, to change. After yellow color, it starts to come to orange. While the other one has not changed the color. Observe that color change from blue to green, green to yellow, yellow to brick, red or orange. As you can see, this has the presence of reducing sugar because it has changed the color, while this does not have the presence of sugar because it has not changed the color. My name is Yosena Gilad Mwandri. I'm a form two student from the Simiri Secondary School. I'm here to test for now reducing sugar by the following procedures. 
First we take our tasty tubes and then we take our food samples. We will test by using food samples C. And food sample E. After that, we will add to it hydrochloric acid. After we have added hydrochloric acid, we will boil our solutions. After we have boiled them, we will cool our solutions. We added hydrochloric acid so as to break down non reducing sugar to reducing sugar. Solutions we will add to them so they might look right. We have added the sodium hydroxide so that to neutralize hydrochloric acid with salt and to water. After we have added the sodium hydroxide, we shake our solution so that it can be mixed well. We are going to add Benedict solution to our mixture solutions. <coughs> so after we have added Benedict solution, we will go to boil our solutions to observe for color changes. As you can see, it is starting to change from blue to, to yellow. As you can see, uh, the other one it has changed the color white, the other one it does not change its color. Okay, as you can see here in our solutions, this one it has changed from blue to green and from green to yellow and from yellow to brick red orange, while the other one it has retained the color of Benedict solution. So it means that this one contains non-reducing sugar, while this one, it does not contain non-reducing sugar. My name is Joseph William. I'm a form two student of Kismir Secondary School. Today we are going to propose you, I'm going to propose you the experiment about test of protein. I'm going to proceed by the following procedures. I'll take sample A, test it you, and sample C. Then I'll take the food samples from the beakers. I'll take like 2 cc, then sample C, 2 cc also, then I will take sodium hydroxide, like 1 cc, in every food sample. Then I will take copper sulfate like two or more drops in, a, in each food sample. The food sample which is going to be appear to be pulp, it means that there will be there will be the presence of protein in the food sample. Then I will shake it. Then it appears that sample A contains protein and sample C does not contain protein because sample A has purple color, but sample C does not contain purple color. Okay, the, by concluding, we are going to state the importance of this food test. Food test enables us to know which nutrients contain a certain food.
okay my advice to people is that you're supposed to get balanced diet and make sure you maintain it okay. my name is Stephen Gosling